Oh, that's where I know you from. Oh, I'm so excited. You know what? The reason I didn't recognize you at first is because your hair color. I was looking for a blonde. Right. I'm not a blonde at the moment. But you know what? I was looking at your face and I said, I know you because I know your eyes. And I was like, I thought you were a friend of mine, but it's because of what the bleep. Yeah. Which from that movie, I am everybody's friend. Right. I, I, yeah, I got a lot of hugs from that movie. Yeah, because I remember you being in what the bleep in your pajamas and your toothpaste and your pigtails and all that. Right. And the bunny slipper. The bunny slipper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was just looking at the press thing with your beautiful picture. You have the most beautiful headshot in there. Thank you. And I thought, look how well you're doing for yourself because from that crazy character and then this pristine, beautiful headshot that you have, and now you're a brunette. You're not just, a brunette, yes, for this other movie that I did, which right. which is one of the fun things I get to do with all these movies is have all these different crazy personas and do crazy things with my hair and clothes, and it's a lot of fun. And you do it so well, that's what I was just going to say. I mean, you can embody every different character so well, and it's like you have a lot of hats. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So what's coming up for you next? Oh, my gosh. Well, the first thing is being here tonight and uh, is speaking. Um, right, we got to be in the present moment. I'm, always, I'm oh, rushing yeah, you to the future. Okay. Slow down. Let's be here now, right? <laughs> the here and now is that uh, there's this gorgeous picture up here on the wall right. of the logo for In Defense of Animals, right. um, who I am a spokesperson for. And I'm here representing them tonight. Um, Dr. Elliot Katz, the founder and, and president, called me up, asked me to come. I said, absolutely. It's a real honor. They're a wonderful organization, and I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of them and, and to find out what's all happening here tonight. This is incredible. I know. Now, I know that um, tonight's movie is about women and the standard of beauty and glamour that we're all killing ourselves to look, you know, like a size two with the perfect face, facial features. So do you know about that movie, The America the Beautiful, that we're going to see tonight? Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I did read about it before coming tonight. So I, you know... I think every film in this lineup has such a great message, and it's really right. wonderful that they, it has an avenue, they have an avenue like this to express such important issues through art. I mean, it's really incredible. Right. So, but back to your issue about animals. Yeah. So you're an animal lover. Do you have pets? I do have fe pets. I have four companion animals, two dogs and two cats. Now what's a comp oh, companion animals? Those yeah. are like dogs and cats? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's a companion animal? <laughs> there are companions. They're not just pets. Because oh, what's so interesting is that here in America, pets are, are deemed property. And they're not deemed individual beings. Right. So there's a whole new, you know, PC, the whole PC lingo. So the new PC lingo for right. for pets are companion animals. Right. So my little Jimmy Choo, he's not my pet, he's my companion, right? That's right. What is Jimmy Choo? Jimmy Choo, he's my little Maltese. He's seven months old. Oh. He's going to be on Animal Planet, so I'll have to tell you to watch for him. Yes, please do. He's already a star like you. <laughs> Good for him. I love that. Yeah. Well, one of my dogs uh, has been in two of my m movies so far. Yeah, it really is. It's like you're a stage mom, right? <laughs> I am a stage mother. Pushing our little froggies out there. <laughs> our little doggies. Kick higher. Bark louder. <laughs> Jump further. So now tell me all your pets' names. You have four of them. What are, what are all their names? Okay, uh, T-Lock is my original girl dog. Then Rossmore is another one of my dogs. And then I have my kitties, Goody Cornbread and Kimbo. <laughs> Goody Cornbread. Yeah. That's a crazy name. Mr. Goody Cornbread. I found him on some fairgrounds when I was filming a movie. Aww. And uh, I was like, does this cat belong to anyone? And they're like, no, take him, please. And I did. And he is, all my animals, they're lovers. They're such lovers. Yeah. So they all get along. They don't fight like cats and dogs. Well, you know, like uh, like any sibling. <laughs> They have, you know, I'll come home and Ross Moore will have this little streak of blood on his nose. I'm like, oh, you the all. cat got you. <laughs> you all had a little conversation today. So, and is Jimmy Choo, like, solo? Is he an only <laughs> child at the moment? No, actually, I have a cat. I have a big Himalayan cat that I've had for 12 years. Wow. So, and his name is Kindles, and he's not real happy about Jimmy Choo. And the funny thing is they do shift work in the bed at night. First is the cat sleeps with us, and then he goes out at 3 in the morning, and then the dog's turn comes in, so it's crazy. Well, you know, at least they're sharing. Right. <laughs> it's like timeshare. So. <laughs> with you all vying for, the, for your attention, which is all they want anyway, you know, love.
right. like like us, like humans. We all want love, right? Love right. me, please. Yeah. You know, I think that's one of the best things about animals is that's one really fast track to get your heart open is get a pet, don't you? I mean, a companion. <laughs> to get a companion. Very good. Yeah. Uh, at, oh, my God. Absolutely. I mean, didn't your life change for such the better once you got him? It really did. It was a heart opening. It's almost like people say when you have a baby that it changes your priorities in life. And I think it's even true with a companion animal. Yeah, it is because they're, uh, you know, they're babies forever. They never grow right. up. <laughs> kind of like our boyfriends too, right? <laughs> That's a whole other subject. That's another show. <laughs> yeah, we and maybe next year there'll be a boyfriend movie in the Artemis film. Yeah, we're going to have to have a message about those boyfriends out there. We're, me and you are going to get together and produce a film, right? You know what? I like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sure. There's not a boyfriend message film yet. I know. And, and spiritual cinema circle, they could right. use a good love boyfriend movie. Exactly. Hey, spiritual cinema circle, we're your next producers and directors. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, but you'll have to, I don't know if your film um, went out on Spiritual Cinema Circle. It probably did, didn't it? What the bleep probably went out to all the all the members of Spiritual Cinema Circle? I'm sure. I uh, The Spiritual Institute of Inter Entertainment here in L.A. Um, honored myself and um, Simon, is it? Stephen Simon. Stephen Simon, yes. Um, honored uh, the, the two of us one night, and so I know What the Bleep was very popular within the community. And, uh, and then I have another movie out right now, actually, called Pass It On, which is sort of, I call uh, What the Bleep, The Secret, and Pass It On, The Triple Crown. Hi, I'm Elaine Hendricks here tonight with In Defense of Animals, and hello to Spiritual Cinema Circle. She's the What the Bleep girl that we love. I'm the Bleep girl. Yes, I am the Bleep girl. <laughs> Now, hey, everybody, talk about a good dog. You're not going to believe it, but while I was sitting there watching the video, Jimmy Choo showed up. He must have known that Mommy was talking about him, and he can't let film and television happen without him because he is a big film and television star. He's going to be on Animal Planet in January, and he did a little film called Plastic Makes Perfect. He did a little film called Hall of Past Lives. And this weekend, he's going to do another little film called La La Loco Baby. So he is only seven months old, and he's already got his little sweater on here. He's already taken off like a big star. And you love Jimmy Choo. The reason I knew Jimmy Choo is because I knew he was going to chew up all my shoes. So we, we call it Jimmy Choo, and we spell it Jimmy Choo, C-H-E-W, like Jimmy Choo, like he's chewing on things. But anyway, yes, this is my lovely muffin. And um, But now back to the Artivist Film Festival. We want to show you some more videos. Take a look. I'm did you have a wonderful day? Did you do anything spiritual today? Uh, anything spiritual? Every, well, every day is spiritual for me. Just, yeah. just, yeah, just to hear the birds in the morning and to see the sunshine, that's very spiritual. And what about in your work, in your art? What about that? I, I just shot, actually, a, a guest starring role in The CW, The Game, uh, which will air, uh, I believe it's the Christmas episode, so I don't know when Christmas falls, but it shows Monday night, so 22nd, 20-something. Was there a message behind that, your appearance on that show? A message? Uh, I don't know. It was a message of, of, of uh, sitcom comedy, okay. just for me being able to... So humor, right? Humor's a message, to wake up and laugh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play, I play a director of a commercial shoot, and I got, to, I got to have some fun with it, so it was great. Yeah. Well, so what do you think about the Art of Us Film Festival and the way that media and film is finding its place to help up, uplift our consciousness these days? Well, I think I think it's fantastic. I think it's absolutely fantastic because, you know, the media is what we all see, whether it's in magazines or television or movies or whatever. Sometimes it's just simply entertainment and other times it's showing us how we can help change the world or, you know, do good in our own community. I mean, I, I, I know like 40 years ago, let's say, as simple as recycling wasn't the biggest thing in the world. And now, because everybody's made a big point in environment or whatever, we all go out of our way to go... I don't need to put that plastic cup in the wood. Like you actually think a little more environmentally. Like I drive a hybrid. I got a hybrid, I was proud to say, a couple years ago, and I love it. And it's one of those ways I can just help in any way, shape, or form. If you think back over your life and all the movies that you've watched, okay. and the way that they've changed your life or touched you or made you see yourself or life differently, is there anything, any movie that pops out for you? Tell us why, Color Purple. Color Purple, because there's that amazing friendship in the film where these two childhood friends are separated. And I just remember, like, when they meet, like, or they rekindle, I feel, their friendship years later. And just, it, it, it was the first film that I have a very clear memory uh, of crying. 